On today's episode, additive manufacturing and the return of the stick shift. Today's episode of End of the Line is brought to you by Engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on Engineering.com slash TV today. For over a decade, the automotive industry has been anticipating the widespread adoption of 3D printing as a production process. It's been a long, slow climb from prototyping technology to mass production, but Cadillac of all brands appears to be leading the additive movement at General Motors. The additive parts at this point are HVAC ducts, a wiring harness bracket, and a shift knob medallion. Not exactly critical applications, but it's a step in the right direction. Why Cadillac? Well, the brand produces in limited volumes, but it's plugged into the GM engineering network and can transfer technology readily into high volume divisions like Chevrolet and GMC truck. Even more surprising is the return of manual transmissions in the new 2022 CT4 V and CT5 V Blackwing models. Now, GM hasn't released images of the car beyond a few teasers, but we know that the 6 speed unit will be standard with a 10 speed automatic as an option. Now, given that the historically geriatric nature of Cadillac ownership demographics, this is a surprise, but a recent Harris poll conducted by the brand reveals some interesting facts. 66% of American adults surveyed know how to drive a manual. Of those who do not know how to drive a manual, roughly 40% are either somewhat or very interested in learning. More than half, 55% of American adults say that they have owned or leased a car with a manual transmission. Interest in driving or learning to drive a manual was higher amongst those with $75,000 a year or more in annual household income, that's 64%, and those between 18 and 34 in age, 62% of that group are interested. Now, a real irony here is that Cadillac was GM's flagship brand in the push to get away from manual transmissions with the original Hydromatic. And it's very likely that this iteration will have similar or even lower overall performance than the 10-speed automatic version. The fact is, driving automation today almost always delivers higher performance and efficiency than any manually operated system. But I love the simplicity of the gearbox and the both hands, both feet engagement of changing my own gears. Now, it seems ironic that as the industry races to achieve full self-driving, so many owners appear to want more engagement with the process. And with the established ability of additive manufacturing to cost-effectively produce component parts in much lower volumes than conventional technologies, it may be possible for automakers to offer even a handful of owners a highly customized product. I suggest that everyone buy a car with a manual transmission or at least drive one. When the cars drive themselves, a lot will be missed. This episode was brought to you by Engineering.com. If you like this show, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification button for our next episode. For deeper engineering content, visit Engineering.com/TV for exclusive shows not found in our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.